Now, as promised, Darren Farwell of the Farwell Group joins us. Good morning, Darren. Good morning, Marilyn. So in a time when many of us feel like we have no control, you and Leslie and the Farwell Group have been giving us tips so we can understand how to take charge of our finances and sleep more comfortably without anxiety. You've especially focused on helping women and widows who may not have had this experience and really want a GPS. So what do you have for us today? Well, outside of the fact that we're finally into May, you know, that April shower, bring May flowers, and I'm or certainly myself, and I'm sure not alone, lots of others needing to see some of those flowers the sooner the better. It's also, though, because, you know, we've just got past the end of April, normally in Canada, that would be the tax time deadline. Of course, this year, it's, you know, it's anything but typical, and the government's made allowances to allow us to file taxes a little later this year. Still, there are a lot of people like me who want to get their taxes done sooner than later because they're expecting a juicy refund check, of which we will, of course, save a significant portion of that. Instead of just running out and spending it, we'll want to be saving it. And your tax refund is a great source of funds for your 2020 RSP and tax-free savings account contributions. So I think it's fair to say, whether you're a widow or not, we all like a tax refund. So this morning, I'm going to give you an idea that might help you get one in 2021, planning ahead, of course. So, strong note, I'm not an accountant, so any ideas related to tax must be reviewed by your accountant to see how they fit with your personal circumstances. Now, for many of our clients, the Farwell Group, we deal directly uh, with your accountants, if you'd like, as part of your professional team, which we can be quarterback for, but uh, I digress. Let's get back to getting some tax back. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this strategy up today is twofold. Of course, as I said, it's tax time, so it's top of mind, especially top of mind is planning what we do in 2020 and how it will impact the taxes we pay in 2021. And number two, importantly, the stock market, as many I'm sure have noticed, is down this year. That may be a bit of an understatement, but it's it's down this year. So let's make the best of the short-term, not-so-good situation. Let's plan now to get some tax back in 2020 as a result of what's just going on with the stock market. The strategy is called tax loss harvesting. If you buy an investment for $20 and it goes down to $10 and you sell it, you realize a loss of $10. That is, you actually have a capital loss of $10, and that's called a capital loss. Well, that's not good, right? You just lost $10. And not only have you lost the $10, really you've given up the chance for your investment to go back up in price, which if it's a prudent quality investment, it will. However, here's the but that works in your favor. First, If you've paid capital gains tax in the last three years, so that's the reverse of the capital loss we were just talking about. If you bought something for $10 and sold it for $20, that's a capital gain. That gain is taxable. So you can use a capital loss against that capital gain. So the $10 capital loss you had can be used to recover any capital gains you've paid in the last three years. It's like getting tax money back. Furthermore, if you don't happen to have any capital gains in the past three years, you can carry this loss forward indefinitely to offset any capital gains tax you might have to pay in the future. Well, but what about the fact that you're selling so you lose the chance for your investment to recover? Because the artificial loss rules don't let you sell something and buy it right back. But if you can buy something similar, you don't give up the opportunity to regain your money. Here's what Kathy did. She owned $100,000 worth of a Canadian bank stock, a Canadian bank that she'd worked at for many, 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 many years and got a lot of her shares through her stock purchase program. At the end of March, it was down $30,000 or 30%. At basically as much of the market was. In Kathy's specific case, 
she had earned a capital gain of $50,000 in 2019. 2019, for those who remember now, was a very good year. So she's going to be paying tax on that $50,000. But what she can do by selling that bank stock now and harvesting her capital loss, she will get some of that capital gains tax back because she'll reduce her gains from 2019. In 2019, she declared a $50,000 gain. If she has a $30,000 loss this year, she can recoup that tax money, 30,000 of that gain. But what about being out of her stock? The market has continued to recover, so if she'd sold her bank stock, she'd be missing out on these gains. Well, in fact, the same day that she sold her bank stock, we bought the bank index. So that's just a compilation, a portfolio of bank stocks. It's not an exact match with the bank stock that she owned. It might do slightly better, it might do slightly worse. But the bank index is going to go step in step with her bank stock. So her investment is still working for her while she has the opportunity to uh, get that tax money back. So with proper planning now, and armed with this strategy of capital loss harvesting, you can get tax money paid, tax paid by you in previous years due to capital gains back, and or you can offset capital gains that you might earn in the future. Remember, this must be reviewed by your accountant, but it's always important, have a plan, we're planning for taxes through the year 2021 so that we can get some money back when we file uh, in 2021. Have a team of informed professionals on your side that benefits better outcomes for you, like, for instance, getting tax money that you've previously paid back. So that sounds like a really good plan. I don't know a person who doesn't enjoy getting tax money back. If someone wants to talk to you about this, what number do we call? 416-863-7501. 416-863-7501. It's never too late to plan for a better outcome. You've said that many times and you're proving it true. And Kathy's story really demonstrates that there are ways and means of getting tax lost harvesting and benefiting from the money you lose as well as the money you make. Thank you, Darren. That was very interesting, and I look forward to learning more next week. You're welcome, Marilyn. If anybody would like a, an article that talks about the details of tax loss harvesting, we're happy to send off an article that discusses it in more detail. Thank you. So I'll give out that number so people can request it, 416 416- Eight six three seven five zero one. Here's something you can do while you're at home. Get money back from the tax man. Thanks to Darren Farwell and the Farwell Group. Ask your questions, get your answers, and smile at the end of it. Thank Thanks, you. Marilyn. Take care. Be well. Now we're going to speak with Dr. Betty Rosendahl of Thornhill Naturopathic Clinic and get her weekly health tip, and then happy stories from hearing instrument specialist Edmund Ivazian of Hearing Aid Source Centres of Toronto and Cupid matchmaker Linda Miller of Misty River Introductions. So lots more to come and lots more to learn and enjoy, all from a woman's perspective with me, Marilyn Weston, and my team right here on Zoomer Radio. 